good afternoon slash evening uh yes we're back we're back again uh, to do some more train sim we're back for uh the first of probably two maybe even three streams from me uh this evening um you're gonna be here for a, a while and uh after lots of toing and froing and scenarios i couldn't do and trains i didn't have and routes i didn't have and lots of things changing i've ended up here uh at the london underground in uh, train sim uh and quite a long journey it is to and uh, the first of two halves uh, not that i'll be doing both halves in this uh video slash stream uh because that's going to be four hours um but i will attempt to do both halves but we will start uh with the first half um sean good uh, evening morning afternoon uh we'll start with the first half um 125 minutes and i've just leapt in worked out i couldn't start and um, engage the uh, uh train couldn't get rev the reverser in forward so with the uh, larwood's help as always um i've now worked that out so we will jump in and do this the first half of the district line right uh, east End Shunter, train 65 on 19 Ealing, cleared through 19 Acton Road to the east end outlet and enter service Acton Town. You're booked Mansion House, but the job's gone up the wall somewhere east of Earl's Court, so you might get turned short. That makes no sense at all to me, but I'm sure it's it's words. Um, so, jump inside. Uh, control shift S. Turns it on and shift and w apparently which doesn't seem to do a thing uh put some lights on put that on uh unpause track ir so we can look around yeah if you're watching this on youtube then and you're new to my videos uh welcome train sim is making a return uh to the channel uh all being in a slow form and this is going to be an interesting journey, I think. And graphically, maybe not the best looking tube train. But hopefully, as a scenario, it is going to be interesting. So we've got uh, Acton Town, Chiswick Road, uh, Turnham Green, Stamford Brook. Uh, Ravenscroft Road, Hammersmith. Uh, why is that text such so flipping hard to read? Um, West Kensington, Barons uh, Court, uh, Earls Court, uh, Olympia, uh, Hammersmith, Stamford Brook. Oh, then coming backwards again, we'll look at things. So, yeah, looks like we're going, turning around and coming back. So we've got to go via ECMDT East Outlet. There's nothing to me. Oh, we do get a view inside. Not looking too bad, I suppose. Let me just reset track IR so we've got a bit of a lower down view. That's better. Please call me Sung. Or not Sean. Sung, okay. Oh, I'm gonna pick up a bit of four. Oh god, that's that's some braking. Well, that's gonna be interesting to control. Hopefully it takes us right here. Sung the sheep. Oh, that's some speeding. All right, stop at Acton Town in point one five. Where are we? Turn that. Oh, I reset. Pause tracker. I'll not reset tracker. 
turn the game audio up a little tiny bit because it's going to be quite a quiet one this one I think LTZ Suburban, good uh, evening, I suppose it is now. And in we come to Acton Town, a lot slower than uh, tube trains actually do enter the platform. They normally come whizzing in. Stop, I've lost my mouse. No one getting on board. Very quiet. I've never been on the tube early in the morning or late at night, actually, for that matter. Um, I just imagine it is quite like the first tube of the day at this sort of time. Um, I imagine it's quite peaceful. But there's probably people that have. Uh, so I've seen the videos on people trying to get on the last tube of the day. Alright, Chiswick Park 2 is next. get some speed otherwise we're going to be very very late and normally if this was normal trains here it might be breaking like mad now turn the wiper off clumsy good afternoon And the clumsy pineapple, thanks very much for the host. Oh, it sounds good, I'd give it that. out the braking. I don't think that was actually that bad. I would normally be a bit more forward than that or should be a bit more forward than that. Oh, see one door just wouldn't get on, which means that whole rear carriage no one could get off. So yeah, I do need to pull right up to the end. Reminds me of the retarder of the MAN and L202 when slowing down. Yeah, it's got that sort of noise to it, isn't it? So I do need to pull up a bit further so that people can get on. It also means I'll end up at the screens just to check the side of the train. Right, straight out into a 25 limit. Thirty-five. Imagine living there, blimey. Convenient for the uh, tube train, I'm guessing, but these things aren't built for top speed, it's acceleration. Mm. 
to get used to living that close. Yeah, I suppose anywhere that lives next to a um, busy uh, train line or busy road does get used to it. Did they open? Oh, yeah. That's not bad, is it? That's pretty good, in fact. It is bad enough that I've got a bus that runs one street away from where I live. I can hear that, and that annoys me. Um, I don't think I could cope with living right next to a really busy main road or busy train line, but I suppose, yeah, it's just what you get used to. It. Right, Stanford Brook. I do like going on the tube. So Liam from the Discord is currently in London, trekking around. One of these stations has a very short platform, I don't remember which. The route from Hexham to Newcastle, and once went from York and one on Durham. Yeah, I spent a lot of time on trains. Um, not a sort of daily thing or even a monthly thing, but I've done a lot of train journeys. There's a lot that I'd like to do. I've always uh, wanted to go on the uh, California Zephyr. Yeah, I'm quite lucky I live on quite a quiet road. That actually wasn't a bad stop, I don't think. You leave a third of a mile on the M25. Yeah, I'm about a mile from the M4, and I can hear it. And if I look out my window now, I can just about see it snaking up the hill away from Swindon. Um, so, yeah, on a good day, I've got the window open. You can actually hear it. Question, how much did this DLC set you back? Uh, this one was nothing, I don't think. Or was it? Oh, this is the Just Trains. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, this one's free. And so far, although I've only done, what, 10 minutes in it? Quite good. Yeah, the plan for today was to do London to Edinburgh, um, but couldn't get hold of the route. Um, so uh, we will come back and do that at some point in the future. We've got nine miles from the A1. Yeah, everyone's reasonably near a main road. It's convenient when you want to get in and out of town but not great when you want to live by it. Oh, we had a victim get on then. A passenger. Oh my god, someone's stolen the car. That was quite a nice shot, actually. The train right down there in the distance. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've travelled into uh, into London from the outskirts on um, on the tube, which is quite nice. Uh, I normally park it, and I'm going to get it wrong now because you know, I would uh, rice slip. I normally park at rice slip when I'm um, travelling into London, um, and then get the tube in. It's quite a nice journey. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's probably here to HSTs coming in and out of uh, Swindon Station if the wind was right, because I'm only a couple of miles from there. Obviously, that doesn't happen anymore. We're going down, people. Of course, you forget that only the, the real middle part of the London Underground is actually underground. A lot of it is overground. Edie, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day it is, I'm really confused. Yeah, cheers, pineapple. Catch you later. I'll be here for a while this evening. Essentially for another five or six hours. On and off. The lights are good for those two little white squares that are on the front of the train. Uh, the lights are actually quite good. come to Ammersmith. Only been over the flyover, never actually been to the uh, uh, tube station. Weather rather temperamental today. What, in the game or IRL? IRL, it's pretty rough. I went to Cheltenham and back earlier, and blimey, it was uh, windy and rainy. Yeah, I had to shut the window in my PC room as well. It was blowing a hoolie. Yeah, sun, rain, sun, rain, sun. Yeah, I know. I had a short sleeve shirt on, and... Um, Went to get out the car back in Swindon and uh, had to wait for the rain to stop. Baron's Court 4. I must say, I'm liking this so far. I live a block away from the light rail line. I hear the first light rail train at 4.45 in the morning. Oh, blimey. Oh, see, you've got rain here as well now. Look at wiper action, that's quite cool. I think I'd like any map here where they have platforms. Platforms are always a plus. after the adventure we had you know a couple of weeks ago the area is rather bad for light pollution as well yeah again although I have a blackout blind uh, in the bedroom, uh, quite lucky that it's only a, a couple of street lights, about sort of 30 feet from the house, and the other than that, it's nice and dark. And I've got a field behind the house, so that's quite dark as well. Run, you can make the train if you run. Please mind the gap between the train 
and the platform. Just thought I'd add that. So yes, if you just joined, uh, this is a district line. Uh, about a two hour scenario of which we're 20 minutes in. So we've got a bit of a way to go. Um, then uh, I'll uh, take a short break um, and then come back and stream something else for an hour or so. And um, then take another short break and come back and do some flying. So potentially I'm going to be streaming uh, on and off uh, for about the next uh, five and a half hours. Right, West Kensington 2 is next. We're playing a field behind me, and on the other side of it, there's a freight distribution centre with miniaturised collapsed suns to illuminate. Oh dear, that's not good. Well, that light was close, wasn't it? I just turned green. Well, considering I only uh, decided to do this about two minutes before the stream started, uh, already I've got to say I'm impressed. Thank you, Larwood. Even like the swishy noise that the doors make. Yeah, detail wise, cab not fantastic. Um, but again, you know, can't complain really. Earl's Court 2. I've been there. Went to the uh, Ideal Gnome exhibition a couple of years ago. Right, strange whistle. And down, down, down we go. Like a roller coaster. Roller coaster. How do you get this line and train? Uh, I can't remember. But I'm sure if Larwood's paying attention, he'll be able to give information. It's the line, I think the scenario is free, but you need some bits in order to be able to uh, do it. Whistle sounds like the brakes. Yeah, it does sound quite... Uh, almost sounds like a steam whistle. Hang on, we're on the other... This seems odd, being on the right side. Obviously about to panic then and slam the brakes on. There we go, thank you, Larwood. If Lowered reminds me, I'll also post that in a link in the description uh, for when this goes out on the, the YouTubes. There we go, you need London to Brighton, Isle of Wight and Great Western Mainline to use it. So imagine they've all got assets that this needs then. I think horns are too loud for it. Yeah, I suppose. Yes, there's Earl's Court. Last time I came to Earl's Court, I uh, left Earl's Court, came across to come on to the tube and passed David Bellamy. I'll just leave that there.
Line controller, train 65, a job has gone to the wall to the east. You'll be turning short here. Put into the yard, stop at the repeater signal, change ends, and reverse into PFM 3WB. Really, what? Platform 3 westbound, I'm guessing that means. Yeah, it sounds like a steam whistle, but it's obviously not. Just air driven because the. Um, uh, what are they called? Windscreen wipers seem like they're air driven. Right, so we've got to stop up here. change ends and then go back the other way but not just well I'm guessing back where we just came from and so we've got a red up here the um, control shift and S train system you'll be doing one run to Olympia we have trains on the uh, we're backing up we need to turn them quickly to maintain service okay oh I've paused track IR then do that alright so back into Earl's Court I don't normally like it when uh, we have to shift around, but that was quite simple. So yeah, stream-wise, um, this uh, weekend, I said uh, we'll finish this route and then uh, may come back and do something else for an hour. But then we've got some multiplayer flying at 9 o'clock tonight, uh, flying out of JFK up to Montreal. Um, so a bit of a long stream, although we'll start and stop the stream, uh, won't do it all in one hit. Um, tomorrow evening then back with some uh, multiplayer trucking and then again possibly something uh, after that and then uh, Sunday afternoon back with um, some multiplayer flying and then possibly even something on Monday afternoon, controversially. I need to work out how my times are. It'll either be something tomorrow afternoon or Monday afternoon. We will see. So plenty of streams coming up from me over the weekend. Aren't you all so lucky? Right, Olympia District Line. You're falling behind, you're going to get fired. No, I'm due there. Oh yeah, my ETA's. Three minutes late. To speed. Oh, yeah, this is the end of the line again. So 
I'm guessing we're going to have to turn again up here. The weather looks quite nice though, the stock map. me for transit company California. Uh, give me an opportunity to go and work in California. I'm there. Oh, it, just, it feels like a really quaint little branch line. to Olympia. I suppose Earl's Court Olympia being linked because they're two um, rather large uh, venues for holding events. So it does make sense to have one little line linking them both. Never been to Olympia. I've been to a couple of uh, things at Earl's Court. train make it on oh yeah see that's not bad that's not bad and there's Olympia no one on board sadly I'm going to have to change ends obviously I can't go forward can I you've not been watching enough Jeff Marshall yeah I didn't see that all right so back to Earl's Court Two. Or oh, was it that I didn't? Hang on. Okay, why isn't that doing a thing? We've got no power, Captain. We can't even move forward. I just did the control shift and S thing. Ah, unless I haven't turned it off at the other end. Hang on. Not going. It didn't tell me to change ends, did it? Was it that maybe I didn't go? go far enough forward this way disengage at that end put the brake on press shift R and shift T
There we go. Thank you, Larwood. Yeah, I had to do that last time. Now I'm very late. So back to Earl's Court again. Yeah, I like the way the map's modelled, I must admit. It does look really nice. Oh, we've got a red light. Where's the red light? Here's the green light. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. The light went green. Oh. Wipers. Court in front of us then. And it's raining. And we're going underground. We know a song about that. So, I'm guessing we have to go past Bell's Court and turn around again. We love all the sounds. It does. This reminds me of obviously diesel rail car that we were in uh, the other week. Um, that it is all about the sound, which it's it's really key. Um, I'd I'd rather have a sim that's more accurate on the way it sounds and feels than the way it looks. You know, it's got to look great, which it doesn't look, you know, unreasonable. Sense of deja vu going on now, then. Back at Earl's Court. I'd, I'd been here before. Several times. But yeah, liking it. Okay, I already had the roots that uh, we needed, or I needed in order to do this um, but the fact that this is then free is all good right reverse into platform 3 westbound via the yard you'll be re reformed as a Richmond service okay is that what the sausages are made but people getting on so surely they shouldn't have stopped you know if you're like well don't get on because I'm not going to where it says I'm going I'm going somewhere else Does that mean I've got to change the thing to say Richmond? Was that not a thing? Right, so back here again to uh, stop and then reverse and go back the other way. 
because that's you know generally what happens when you reverse. And it's a bit rainy. I'll turn the wiper off this end because I'll be switching ends in a minute. Page up and down if you want to do destination. Okay. No rain this end. So where did it say we're going? Richmond. Uh, you're now reformed as train 24. Set CIS to Richmond. Load the punters. <laughs> oh, there you go. Richmond. So it should now say on the front of the train, which it does. Lovely job, dude. Right, back into a whole score again. It actually looks really good. Haven't seen any other trains though, have we? You know, this would... I'd be passing trains every minute in reality. And we haven't actually seen any come the other way or anything. And she's stood uh, half in the wall. That is a lot of switching back and forth, yeah. Hopefully that's it now. If our switching's done, we can actually make uh, make a move to... Uh, so Earl's Court, West Kensington, Barron's Court, Hammersmith, Ravenscroft Park, Tufnell Green, uh, Richmond... Turn Green, Ravenscroft Park, Hammersmith. No, we're not done yet. Back to Earl's Court. Back to West Kensington, Ravenscroft Park, Chiswick. So no, we've got to do some more switching. So this is essentially the first two hour of a tube driver shift before first break. Yeah. Um, the scenario sets it as part one. And there is a part two. Life of a tube driver. Morning, Blinky. Welcome to uh, Switching Sim 2019. Yeah, I never realised that so much of that went on. You just imagined that you know you'd get in your train at one end of the um, the line. You travel to the other end, have a break. Turn around, travel back, have lunch, travel back, have a break, travel back, go home. You don't appreciate that there's all this switching around, there's trains are late and there's problems, and they've got to try and maintain a service. noise was that? Yeah, two hour scenario, Blinky. I did want a long one. Where are we going now? Ah, I'm not going up there. That's good. I'm going to be very late by the time we get to the end of this, but that's fine. Well, not as far as the company's concerned, but, you know. Actually, fairly easy to control as well. Your dad used to be a tube driver. Awesome. Need the cross country line from Paynton. I actually looking one of the routes I was going to do was starting in Paynton because I love that bit of the country. Um, 
but I had problems with the HST. I was going to do Penzance to uh, London, which I really want to do because that comes through Swindon. And then I had problems with the HST. Uh, yeah, not a problem. Didn't notice anything string being. So if you're enjoying the train sim content, do please check out the Discord server. A link will be around. Nightbot will shove it in your face soon. If you're into sims and train sims, there is an awesome Discord community over there. Um, where there's quite a lot of train discussion. Train discussion is almost keeping up with um, flight sim discussions at the moment. Um, for me, it's probably second on my list of um, favourites. Uh, flight being uh, at the foremost at the moment, but I do really enjoy train sim. It is uh, extremely relaxing. Uh, I work for a transit company in California, Operation Central Con Control Controller. I see my trains riding on top. Uh, either I will switch a few back. Oh, okay, yeah. If they're getting too close together, then you would turn them back. Because you've got to try and maintain the service intervals, I suppose. See, this is quite nice. We've got the line coming up from below us. So Barron's Court is the next stop. And then back to Ammersmith. Just yeah, it's quite quite okay. It's a shame we're not seeing more um, stations, but it's certainly making it interesting. Going sort of shuffling backwards and forwards. And it's handling quite well. not going to be a bad stop. By the other end. Yep, it's all on. So yeah, okay. Graphically, the tube train itself, not fantastic. But, you know, we said, it's not about that. It's about the way it feels. It's not about the looks. And it sounds really nice in here. I don't know we spend that long in, in the in-cab view. All right, Hammer Smith. And because this thing accelerates and decelerates so quickly, having these short gaps between stops it's actually quite nice. <laughs> yeah, indeed, Blinky. So that is the flyover, I think, isn't it? Or was, yeah. Good old... Uh, oh, that was lucky. There's no way I would have stopped if that hadn't changed. Even don't mind that braking noise. And the door sound isn't quite right. It's not bad. It's not quite right. But, you know, enjoyable so far. And we're probably not halfway yet through this scenario. Right, Raven's Court Park. Next. So 
really difficult to make time up. I was due there at 15, uh, 5.16. We're going to arrive at 5.20. So four minutes late. Not bad for me over an, a 50-minute scenario so far, roughly. Actually, I can be 10 minutes late in a 20-minute scenario. Not, not quite that bad, but, you know. And the sun's coming up. Yes, imagine living there. Or here. It's like blimey. Here we go. So yeah, there's the Discord link if you're not already in the server. Uh, it is an awesome community. So you're looking for a few more people to uh, join in uh, with the uh, Discord mayhem and chaos. So if you're into train sim, um, always great to see people posting uh, screenshots of uh, routes or any good route suggestions. There's quite a lot of train sim action going on in the Discord, but always nice to see more. So don't be afraid, join in. They're all quite nice in there really, apart from Chaos and Tux. It says district line, so in case you're confused, you get the announcer nowadays when you go in. The next stop is blah de blah de blah. Insert stop name here. Stanford Brook. I can't see these guys. I've just I've literally just noticed the coffee cup there. Well, I suppose you've only got to drive one-handed, haven't you? So uh, the other hand can be, you know, free for doing other things. I ride the trains to and from work every day. I see the problems with a certain train line every day. And upper management doesn't ride the system. I express my concerns with that certain line. Awesome. Uh, post some um, pics, son, of, um, of, of the trains. You know, the IRL trains. It'd be awesome to see. That's why a lot of these big companies, you get the uh, the MD will go back to the shop floor and you know go and work with the people at the bottom to actually see the problems in the company. Because a lot of times management um, don't see the problems at the bottom because you know they're in their ivory towers. Stanford Brook, we have arrived. How long before the next uh, switcheroo? Uh, Stanford Brook, Turnham Green, Gunnersby. That's where the um, that where the um, Elizabeth line is. Uh, Q Richmond, and back to Q. So Richmond is where we turn around, which is where we're going. So that's handy. <laughs> Muppet. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's just save it. Alright, Turnham Green. It's been a long day. Turnham Green is uh, next. Yeah, post them in the non-gaming picks uh, section on uh, on Discord. Now, is that going to be a fixed sun, do we reckon? Or will that sun actually then, is it going to get brighter? It seems to have got a bit brighter from where we started. Mm. 
We have a single yellow there, which means we're chasing a train. We are very late. Obviously, I don't think that'll affect anything. Apart from the time, of course. Still not many people around, which I suppose, I don't know, in London, 25 past 5 in the morning, a lot of people coming and going, toing and froing. Throwing and toing. Gunnersby. Gunnersbury. So we're changing tracks. Wipe it back on. I'm going down there. I think already I'm going to have to do that uh, second half. So if I do end up streaming um, Saturday afternoon or Monday afternoon, then I think it's going to have to be the second half of this. So if you're watching this on YouTube, there will be another couple of hour uh, train video coming soon. I hope the second half isn't just around the same number of uh, stations. I thought the district line was actually quite long. down to 15 up here. Which obviously break for, you know, early. Because, you know, the map it isn't the whole district line. Mm, shame really, isn't it? You know, good for the bit that we've got. I did slow down well too early. future holds for this sort of electrification whether it will stay with the third rail or what other options there are I wonder if battery technology will ever get to a point where these trains will run on batteries and you won't have the need to have the third rail Yeah, I'm, I've got to get used to the braking. Fourth, oh, of course, four rails, isn't it? It's one of the same, yeah. Um, well, then I'm going to be fourth rail forever. It's a shame. Uh, obviously, it works. But there are electric uh, or battery powered trains out there now. Kew Gardens, been there. Mm. 
Yeah. Oh, shoot. It's only when they're... Oh, damn it. I thought it was going to be a 15, 45 even. Um, I suppose with the distance these things are covering in a day. Well, yeah, it's all going overhead, isn't it? Right. Over the river we go. I'm liking the way this looks as a scenario. It is really nice. Press Shift C. Why? Aren't the engineers trains battery power so they can work while the power is off to service the lines? I don't know how it works actually, because yeah, when they're moving stuff during maintenance periods. Yeah, so they do have battery locos. So they can't really use diesel, can they? We can out here, I suppose. In central sections where it's all underground, they can't really. Is it me or is Steve early? Uh no, I'm three minutes late. And yeah, evening-ish, the hillsman. Q Gardens, anyone for a stroll around Q Gardens? If you are, then uh, please get off here. Richmond. If anyone wants some sausages, that's the uh, next stop. And rather nice ones they are too. You can't tell me where to get off. I can, and I just did. Oh, it's a long way. It's, I guess our longest distance so far between stations. What was that? It's nearly like a mile, over a mile. Uh, 35 coming up. I don't know how they cope travelling this far. Oh, God, we've got to turn around. Oh, because the end of the line, isn't it? Please do not go via Clapham Junction as the other kind of power company people have been stuck on trains for six hours. Well, I thought they'd get people off and walk them down the tracks. Our third rail is limited to 100 miles an hour max. Yeah, because it's just a contact patch. It's that the contact shoes, isn't it? They're picking up the power, so there must be limitations in that. Right, into Richmond we come. It's definitely getting lighter.
Partly that and the power draw for high speed is too great for the supply stations to handle. Oh, okay. I dread to think what the uh, electricity bill is for London Underground. I wonder if they pay by direct debit. Red. That second one is. Seem like someone's just taken a traffic light and laid it on the ground. I don't know, we'll put it down here on the ground. Okay, the train. Oh, it's out there. I must say, the, train, the train's supposed to be in this picture somewhere. It's just up there. I'm going to creep forward slightly because that'll make it change. Probably because we're late. But there's no other trains here. There was other stuff coming in and out of the... Uh, tab. We said dab for a second. No, nope, denied. I don't want to proceed, obviously, because it'll end the... Uh, End the scenario. The noise direction of uh, Richmond six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are we going down there? We just have to go through it. You reckon? Oh, it changed anyway. <laughs> it changed to green. I'm just being very impatient. Our TripAdvisor. Our TripAdvisor is actually in London. So the one time we uh, do a trip in London, our TripAdvisor's at the place we're at, where he could talk about the place, and he's not here. He'll be gutted. All right. Closer to Richmond than Steve. Exactly, yeah, he's closer to Richmond than me. And not in Hull. I'm only, well, Richmond, I'm probably only 70 miles away. Change ends, raise coast and weak field flags. Depart ASAP, you are on schedule. You are on a schedule, but I say it was on schedule. That ain't going to be a thing, is it? Um, that was. Yeah, yeah. Right, back to Kew Gardens. Ha 
Aha, without speeding. The driver in reality wouldn't be able to change ends that quickly. So it's going to be a good couple of minutes stroll down the train. Well, that briefly went to 16 miles an hour then. It didn't do me for speeding. He could run, lazy bugger. Exactly, he's not going to be. He's, he's going to be a London Underground worker. It's like, well, I've got eight minutes to get to the other end of the train. That's how long it's going to take me. Because someone would have time and motion studied it and they would have got the slowest walker in the company to uh, be there on that time and motion study day. Back to Kew Gardens. If anyone forgot to get off the first time, they can get off this time now. It's still not built for speed, is it, this thing? Really makes me want to do one of the uh, Isle of Wight routes now, because obviously Isle of Wight uses old London and underground stock. we come so we gotta go back to oh no there's a big bong then well that was a windy journey home yeah I can imagine chaos so I got buffeted around coming back from Cheltenham earlier Why should it be? You never get a chance to get all those speeds. Well, yeah, I suppose it's not very really a speedy line, is it? Uh, low gas. All the trains on the platform as well. Always a plus. Let me look at this gauge, see what it does. All right, back to Gunnersbury. Well, there's our speed. And what's that one for then? Hmm. Uh, I'm out on Sunday at family events. I might not be able to drive BCS on Sunday. Okay, I've got no plans on driving for it over the weekend. Actually, no, I might do it tomorrow. Oh, I've got a lot of uh, testing to do this weekend. Air pressure, if it's in bar. Yeah, I suppose it could be if it's in bar, yeah. Right, back to Gunnersbury. So I'm guessing we'll go back to Earl's Court. And then turn around again. And maybe end up back where we started at the very beginning, back over the river. yellow so the next one might be a red uh, 
don't know. I haven't checked it today. Hopefully we've got money. Oh, wipers back on. Back into Gunners Brie. Yeah, it's quite enjoyable this. So normally I'm not a fan of the just going switching ends and stuff. Um it hasn't been too bad. I do like the swishy noise that the doors make. Slightly Star Trekky. All right, so back towards Baron's Court, I think it is now, isn't it? I hope turn them green. It was close. That one. A 15 mile an hour limit here and then up to a 40 mile an hour limit so if you just joined yes this is the uh, district line for train sim and uh, we're over halfway through two hour scenario and rather good it is too does sound really good. They definitely got the noise right with this one. Not so much the looks on the outside. It doesn't look fantastic. But the, the noise is certainly there. And quite smooth as well. It doesn't seem to be sort of laggy at all. Alright, 40 limit. Pedal to the metal or lever forward. Turn them green up ahead. signals you can see down there on the bar at the bottom shows how closely spaced the trains are although we've not seen another train shame really they haven't uh, got any other no traffic modeled Breaking. Too much braking. It's raining still. <laughs> like being an ETS too. Good segue. Tomorrow night, don't forget. Um, Saturday night, trucking and tunes on the ETS two. Six thirty p.m. start. Um, an awesome uh, bit of fun that normally on a Saturday night. Sometimes a bit of an X-rated chat going on. 
uh, and some music and a bit of uh, multiplayer trucking. But, uh, really enjoy that on a Saturday. Stanford Brook is next. They do accelerate pretty quickly, these things, don't they? X rated. Oh, might be a bit much for me. <laughs> well, sometimes it does get a bit that way, Larwood. Blame me, blame Susan, exactly. He said his name was Susan. That's not bad parking. You can always get another carriage in there. Almost. So yeah, uh, after we've done this journey, I'll take a uh, five, ten minute break. Um, and then we'll come back and do something else for an hour. And then uh, do the same again. Because at nine o'clock we've got some uh, multiplayer um, flying coming up. It's not called parking. I was thinking when I said it, you don't do park a train. <laughs> a bit of parallel parking in a train was can't see a problem with that personally he's stable oh okay right I'll see what how good my stabling skills are up ahead Try doing a three point turn. It may take a while. As long as it's not stapling a train. So, whether make up his mind what he's doing. Is Susan my girlfriend? Someone will post the, uh, the clip again. In, uh, in Discord. Uh, watch the clip, the Hillsman, and all will become clear. He still doesn't know how to steer those things. I know there's no steering wheel or anything. How are you supposed to know where you're going? Welcome back, Sung. Sun has got bigger and brighter, but it's also moved from west to east. Oh, you look out the window to see where you go. Ah, see, that's a mistake I'm making. Yeah, that's got bigger and brighter. Right, back to Hammersmith. Your mum's name is Susan. It's something you don't know about. I'm not normally a fan of electric trains, but I've been really enjoying this. Where did she store her lunch? <laughs> to Hammersmith under the uh, famous flyover.
There isn't much of this actually underground, is there? A lot of the stuff we've been doing today has been uh, overground. Wombling free. Alright, in uh, Ammersmith. Chains here for places near Ammersmith. Yeah, I don't think he got the uh, question there, Gaz. Watch the clip, the Hillsman. Someone, uh, I know Liam's got it, but someone will find it and post it in Discord. It will all become clear. Right, so that's Hammersmith. Baron's Court. West Kensington, Earl's Court, stop again, back to Earl's Court, West Kensington, Barons Court, back here to Hammersmith, uh, Stamford Bridge, Chiswick, Acton and Ealing. So we go off to Ealing uh, after the next turnaround. And back again, you got a bad connection. Ah, that's not good. Is it on my YouTube? Oh God, no. No, it's a Twitch clip. Um, someone has posted it in Discord before, so it's there in Discord. Uh, I think that the clip is called Trucking with Susan. So if you search Discord for Trucking with Susan, or even search my Twitch clips for Trucking with Susan, you'll see it. It's about a three minute clip. And to this day, I think still one of the funniest trucking streams we've done. Everyone was on such good form. Yeah, that and one of the early um, uh, spin tires streams that we did are just absolutely hilarious. Right, into Baron's Court. How late are we? We're due to at 5.58, 5.53, so we are five minutes late. Well, it was Tux, but you joined and three of them left. It's in random chat. Awesome. Thank you, Chaos. All right, Baron's Court. And then back to, where was it? Uh, West Kensington. And then back to Earl's Court again, then do a turnaround. Trucking with Susan. Indeed, it's the man McBee. Man who's having a lovely life without caffeine. All right. Why do I start slowing down then? West Kensington. Oh God, see that was a corner. We flung to one side of the train if you went through that. That's probably why they introduced a slow speed limit. <laughs> see, chaos knows. Holy crap. I 
that came up quicker than I thought. Dave the Helicopter, good evening. That is an awesome name. It's like you can faintly hear the traffic. I'm not running rather late. I'm five minutes late. Which for me, over a journey that's been an hour and a half, is actually quite good. Okay, I had no clue which direction I was heading in then. Oh, red light. It also means I'm blocking the junction back there, look, so nothing can come through. So I'm a hazard to trains. Yeah, I'm going to get cut back to three now, is it? I was due at Earl's Court at 5.57. It's currently 6.01. I'm due there at 6.03, so that's six minutes late. Although the last one of these reds, we had to run because there's no other traffic on the tracks. I think because I'm late, it's causing... I'm just going to go for it. It's causing issues. Oh, it's set the emergency brake on. <laughs> that went well. There we go. We can soon overcome that problem, though. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to run the red light, which means the safety features actually worked. It stopped me from running the red light. Well, it didn't. It stopped me just past the red light. Okay, I'm fired. Yeah, I'd imagine I would be. I'll just get out now and walk back, shall I? Get in the car and go home. Yeah, I was just thinking that, Tux. It's like, what? What's he calling me? I know it stands for something. Signal passed at danger. That's the one. There you go. Just before he typed it. Okay, I'm slowing down. not let me go past 10 miles an hour now. <laughs> I've broken the train. It's not, it won't do more than 10. Yeah, it was well, not a choo-choo. I've got a little whistle. Pardon the expression. <laughs> Steve broke the train again. I did. It's a thing. It happened. You have to wait three minutes. Or I go and boil an egg or something. <laughs> I can do a lot in three minutes. After the trip, who's a cock? Uh, or if it's an infrastructure reason, signal to put signal back in front of train. It's a spa. Isn't that a shop? You're a lucky man if you can trip car. 
this is true. <laughs> well, if the purple cap fits, indeed. <laughs> My mom said she's no knowledge of anyone called Steve. <laughs> Train 24, reverse into platform 3 westbound via the yard and expect to head west. Likely job and finish. Woohoo! Home time! If someone says job and finish, you never see someone work so hard. You get that done, you can go home. Yeah, job and knock for the win, indeed. Yeah, someone plodding around all day, get told, tell you what, finish that and you can go home. You, you'll never see the pace pick up so much. Alright, so back in, how many times have we been in and out of Earl's Court? I think they wouldn't have us hanging around here as we're running late. Train 24, you are reformed. Way we've been reformed. There's train 53. Look for a Ealing Broadway. Uh, hang on, I've got to change the thing now to Ealing Broadway. Hold on, bear with me, caller. Uh, where's my page up? Oh, there it was. Ealing Broadway. Oh, hang on, I've got to do my thing. Uh, there. There. Ah, Ealing Broadway, yes, seven minutes late. I think they just slot me in as a later train, though, wouldn't you, if I'm running this late? Don't forget the thing. I yeah, the thing has been remembered. So yes, don't forget if you're watching this, uh when we finish this journey, I'll take a sort of five, ten minute break and then come back and do uh, something else for an hour and a half or so. And um then do the same again. And then at nine o'clock, uh, we've got some multiplayer flying uh, for a couple of hours, flying from JFK to Montreal. So all in all, about six hours streaming from me today. Oh, even sound here heard the compressor then. That's a that's an interesting lift. Can't you make it a one and a half hour break in a ten minute stream? I could do that. Better for me because I haven't eaten. Well, I've had a chicken sandwich since five o'clock yesterday. Who's Jeff K? Jeff K? No idea. Peter's brother? Earl's Court. I can do it for losing a few pounds anyway. Yeah, thank you for that. Oh yeah, JFK. Does it sound like Jeff K? You can order KFC on Just Eat, but I can't because if it turns up when I'm streaming, I can't go downstairs and open the door. So when I finish this, I'll try and grab a quick sandwich or something. Whistly whistly. All right, West Kensington. Barons Court back to Hammersmith.
can chuck it through the window. Why don't we start streaming this early? I normally have something to eat on a Friday before I stream. That wasn't a bad bit of stabling. <laughs> this is true. Right, where's Kenji Ted? Ugh. Baron's Court, Hammersmith, Ravenscroft Park. That's a new one. No, it's not. Stanford Brook, Turnham Green, Chiswick Park, Acton Town, Ealing Broadway, and then uh, Park up at Ealing Broadway. So we are getting there. Turnham Green, exactly. Well, in case you've run out of red paint. Court. Still not quite getting used to the braking on this thing. All the dominoes are posted with the letter dot letter box. I've got a frozen pizza. Um, but I'd have to stop for like half an hour in order to cook it and eat it. I should be fine. I've got my bag of jelly babies that's been here by the side of me since Christmas. They'll keep me going. I really like the way this is sounding. to Hammersmith again. Don't be a waste away. How many times have we been through Hammersmith? Six now? I'm even running out of orange squash. I've got enough to do one more drink and then uh, I haven't got any that left either. Things are bad. All right, in Emma Smith we come. Get ye to the shop. Well, again, that would mean having to stop streaming. The gap would have to be longer in order to go to the shop, get stuff, and then come back. It's a tough, tough life. The things I have to give up. I'm giving up my, my health for the sake of the stream. Inbox me to your address and I'll post your Boddingtons. I don't mention Boddingtons. I'm off the alcohol. I'm having a dry August. I'll starve then. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Your concern was there momentarily, Blinky. Thank you for that. <laughs> right, Ravenscourt Park is next. <laughs> Bo 
Waddington's Doom Bar, Magnus, and yeah, St Stella's for girls. Actually, I've still got eight cans of Stella in the boot of my car um, that's been there since February because a certain Mr. Gazariah uh, was supposed to come down to New Forest but then didn't turn up. eating the dog if I had a dog I got asked today if I had any pets but, oh god no I got three house plants and I panic about keeping those things alive I don't know what make a model they are but you know, I think they're alive one's looking a bit sort of brown around the gills <laughs> yeah yeah, I had a dog. Uh, not much meat. No, I, I, I went and visited the uh, the budgie today on the way back from Cheltenham. Psycho. I do like the noise of that door. It is very Star Trek esque. I'm actually thinking because we got still got a bit of this to go, and it's seven o'clock now. We do be flying at nine. Um, I may actually, when we come off here may just come back at nine because although I, you know, I could just wait for an hour I don't know I'm Mr. Indecisive alright Stanford Brook is the next stop So yeah, either tomorrow afternoon or Monday afternoon, depending on how I go time-wise, I may stream the other um, scenario for this. Because this is only half of it. sent me a couple of short things you can do on here. Oh, okay. But we'll come off after this anyway. It's just then whether I come back for an hour and do something else. I shall see. Oh yes, I have a message. I'm well stocked with short things. Wrong choice of the words there with the well stocked. All right, turn them green. So we've been this far before. Is this on train sim or is it on game? Is this on train sim? Yalawa did link um, the scenario earlier. You do need some things in order to be able to run it. Uh, you need three, London to Brighton and a couple of others uh, in order for it to work. And then when you've got all those, this scenario is free. It's 
actually run really smoothly. Whether that's the absence of other trains. It's also on the mod spreadsheet on Discord. How very efficient. I keep forgetting we got a mod spreadsheet. Should have come for anyone the last car i've just walked forward even though there was a mod spreadsheet yeah look at the top of the discord server i took my wipers off again that right i'm guessing this signal isn't going to change because we're running uh, seven minutes late If I run it, I request to pass. Well, it even says spad on the thing. Look, there we go. Right, you see, this is the bit we haven't been to before. Then down the Chiswick Park. It's very posh, Chiswick, isn't it? I must say, graphically, this is actually looking really nice. Probably one of the smoothest running scenarios I've done in Train Sim for a long time. It's a shame there's no other trains. That does add a bit of realism to it. Because, you know, being in London Underground, this would be just full of trains. And Chiswick Park. Needs a Sims and stuff, Pacer. Yeah, I will still work on doing that um, long run. And that Pacer you did looked stunning. So I'll have to use that. Quiet without Liam. Apparently most of London has a power cut. <laughs> we'll blame Liam. Liam's in London. What if he's stuck on a tube train? <laughs> Ouch. Manchester, Cardiff, Liverpool, Newcastle. What? Power cuts? Well, they'd be quiet tonight then. Right, Acton. Is it runnable with a stand in if you don't have the underground train? I don't know whether you can change trains. Yeah, some major generating companies got it wrong. Wow. Did someone unplug it? Was that what it was? Someone going, I oh, need to plug the Hoover in. Can I just, yeah, there's one over there. No! <laughs> Did someone unplug the wrong one? <laughs> and t turned off Manchester. That's the extension lead Manchester's plugged into. Be driving this train when you're his underground. So, right out into the uh, 
outskirts now. At Acton. Knackered all trains pretty much the third rail and overheads are directly off grid. Unlike the Signy, which has uh, generator and truck to power supplies. Wow, so they literally just grind to a halt. I do like them doors. And I think it's Ealing then. I don't fancy being on the tube. Friday rush hour, no power. God, imagine it. I made a mistake once of trying to travel around in rush hour on the tube in London, and it's just ridiculous. And I have come out of London on a Friday. Um, at sort of four o'clock and it took like three hours to get back to Swindon. Mini apocalypse, yeah. Right, Ealing Common then, the next stop. Really enjoyable couple of hour scenario this. They can't have a generator back up for the tube, surely. How much power this thing sucks. Right, switching lines. Well, they used to. That's what uh, Battersea Power Station was for, wasn't it? And there's another one. There's well, several. But now, as um, I said, it's just directly off-grid now. Just, this thing sounds... Oh, crap. Speeding. This thing sounds really nice. living out here that's a lot of lines uh, this would be quite pe pleasant peasant I said peasant then this <laughs> this would be quite pleasant oh transport police over there Pleasant for the peasants, yes. It's peasant pleasant. Yeah, really in uh, well that's a sentence. Um yeah, really impressed you suggested this Larwood. I left the wipers on in the back as well. <laughs> Oops. S someone will turn them off, I'm sure. So, yeah, the, the one over there, I might have left the wipers on. <laughs> All right, Ealing Broadway Platform 9. Oh, it's raining again. Mm. 
Oh, wipers more used than you were in that plane the other night. Exactly. Try saying it out loud, Tux. Alright, so we got to stop here. Now I guess we've got to pull forward and uh, end our day. Speedily. I'm eating Broadway's a long way out, isn't it? And I'm guessing I've got to park it then. That's a lot of train lines. I'm guessing it's got overground services out here as well then. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting to go over there, but okay. And into Ealing Broadway we come, the end of the line. I think I've got to go and uh, stable it now. Yeah, stop at Ealing Common 2 and then stop at uh, that place. Train 53, we are putting you in the depot. Oh, thank you much. Run out of service to East Coast ECM and wait instructions from the West End shunter. Change ends, set CIS to not in use and depart when ready. Not in service. I will do the shift T thing in that. Eating common. Quarter past seven. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is uh, once this scenario is finished, I will end there, and then uh, I'll come back uh, between eight thirty and nine o'clock um, and get set up and ready um, for the uh, for the flight. Because the time I finish this. And then break for 10 minutes come back it's going to give me sort of less than an hour to stream again so uh, we'll finish this scenario and then uh, we'll come back in uh, about an hour and a quarter's time 
for a couple of hours flight from uh, JFK in New York uh, to Toronto. Back to Ealing Common 2. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you've got this far, well done. You deserve a medal. Uh, if I end up doing the second part of this, it uh, will appear on uh, YouTube in a couple of weeks' time. limit coming up. Point is uh, speeding up to 35. We've got to go back down to the stop again. That's a lot of train tracks, isn't it? That's really cool. Loving the modelling and how smooth is this scenario. It's awesome. And there's been a really quick couple of hour scenario as well. So we've actually got to stop at Ealing Common, although we've got no passengers on board. for the dispatcher to tell us where to go then in the nicest possible way hopefully well, that's a quick thing ten speed limit in the yard yet yeah. Train ECM2, put it in onto 20 Acton, please, driver, and stable it. Well, as long as you set the uh, points to where it's going to go. around here to the right. There's uh, probably one of Gaz's lot, just stood around doing nothing as normal. So yeah, approaching the end. <laughs> uh, really, really enjoyable. Over two hours, um, this scenario. Thoroughly enjoyed that. And yeah, ended up a few minutes late, but hey. down to a stop become so yeah if you're watching this live um mostly kept up the time after the start 
Yeah, it's just that initial bit I lost time. So you're watching this live. We're about to end. Uh, but I will be back in just over an hour's time. So about 8.30. Um, getting uh, set up and prepped uh, for a late night bit of X-Plane multiplayer flying. Uh, three of us, I think, so far. Um, due to be doing the late night flight from JFK to Toronto. So we're back online at uh, about 8.30 p.m. There we go, that should be the end of the scenario. You did good. Some of your skills can be improved. Yeah. Uh, you were late on your schedule, one or more points, or missed a stop. Uh, but that was good driving on such a long half. Go get a cuppa. Indeed you do. Targets complete. 5 out of 47. Pick up passengers from naught out of 42 platforms. <laughs> what? How? And I only, only travelled 26 miles out of all of that in two and a quarter hours. How, I picked up passengers from every platform. That's redonkulous. Completely. But there we go. Yes, thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave that, uh, I don't count if you're late, well I suppose, yeah, I'm going to leave that there, so if you're watching this live, be back at 8.30, so an hour and, uh, hour and ten minutes, um, getting prepped for some flying, if you're watching this on YouTube and you've got this far, don't forget to check out the Discord server, uh, we'll put a link to it in the descri description below, it is an awesome community, and getting quite train filled, um, so yes, check that out, and don't forget to check out my other content, uh, OMSI and firm bus and tourist bus and trucking and flying and more to come. So there we go. I'll leave that there. Thanks everybody for uh, watching, chatting and enjoying. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs>